We are back here with Lumix on the floor at Out of Chicago 2016 with Rob Knight. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going, man? Excellent, excellent. Good to see you, Nick. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're having some fun here. At, here. Uh, have you been on some photo walks? Yeah, I was one of the uh, instructors for the photo crawl last night. So I was stationed out by the Crown Fountain, and uh, cool. we had a surprise visit from three ballet dancers who were there to just sort of goof around and dance in the fountain. So we got to take advantage of that. And awesome, awesome. Some really cool images, yeah. So for those who don't know what the Crown Fountain is, it's those two big columns that right. basically have video screens built into them and water kind of crashing over. Yeah, absolutely. And and the kids play in them and, and uh, it's, if you go in the daytime, it's crazy. I'm sure today it's supposed to be 90 degrees. I'm sure it's a crazy right. town yeah. with uh, kids in. flashing around. And yeah, so uh, we were there at dusk. And so we had the blue hour and the lights from the LEDs. And uh, it's it's a pretty dramatic thing anyway. But then yeah. to have, you know, these these beautiful dancers uh, sort of at our disposal at our disposal for a little while was really cool it was really cool yeah I, I reposted that uh this morning i think from one cool. of you guys from either your you or sean right someone mm -hmm. I, I don't know i reposted one of them i saw it pop up on instagram yeah so very cool so uh so what's what's coming up for you what are you what are you working on and, and photography wise and project wise what are you working on these days well i'm uh, i'm in the process of editing a video that i shot for my amigos down in costa rica uh, they run the uh the i call it a resort they want to call it a retreat where okay. I host my workshops there in the fall. Cool. And uh, so I was there two months ago and shot a lot of video um, and recorded some testimonials and things like that for them. So I'm in the process of editing that down into uh, probably a couple of different projects they can use on their website and, and that cool. kind of stuff. So, so kind of show it off to their clients and, and people that want to go down there and join them. Right, right. And they do, you know, I, I host my photography tours there. They do equestrian tours that have... Um, they, they're big about not... It's not horseback riding, but it's it's... <laughs> Equine facilitated learning, so it's uh, it's hard to explain, but it's a it's a really cool program that they do that involves horses and, and people coming to visit. Very um, cool. But, uh, but yeah, getting ready for my workshop there in the fall. And, yeah. So what do you guys when you go down there? What are you photographing a lot of? So when everyone comes down to kind of experience this with you, sure. what's the the goals that you want people to kind of leave with? Well, I I want to share the Costa Rica that I fell in love with. 10 years ago when I started going. Um, and one of the big things about that is the people. So okay. of course, we're going to shoot birds and wildlife and uh, I don't know, volcano and, and that kind of thing. We're, uh, the place where we stay is a collection of 10 private cabins on a farm. Very cool. And uh, each cabin is built with a beautiful picture window view of the volcano and the, nice. the valley spreading out below you. So and we could really do a workshop at the place, at, at yeah, uh, Leaves yeah. and Lizards is the name of it. But um, we, we travel around that area. We spend the day on a friend of mine's farm, on a working dairy farm. And uh, he welcomes our group in like part of the family. And they make us lunch and we fish in their calafia pond and see how the, the farm works. And um, our guide is my friend Enrique. And he has us over for a cookout at his house. Sweet. And um, meringue lessons, all kinds of of a cultural exchange as well as just the you know, sort of wildlife that everybody wildlife. does basically. Yeah. Cool. I, one of the things that stuck out when you were talking about it yesterday was that you were like, you know, I want everyone to leave with great pictures, but you want them to have fun too. And just like Absolutely. leave there like, wow, this is awesome. Absolutely. And I think from what you were telling me, it sounds like they all have a great time. Sure, so, sure. And, and that's the way I put it. Like you're, you're gonna leave with great pictures, but you're gonna leave with friends in Costa Rica. Yeah, friends, experiences, all Absolutely. that just, you know, and that's great because it's a vacation then too. It's not sure. just a photo workshop. Absolutely. So cool, um, what else was I gonna ask you? So you've been playing around with that little 12 millimeter today. So yes. what are you thinking? I love it. It's <laughs> that I'm, the wide angle lens is, is right in my wheelhouse. I yeah. shoot with the 15 millimeter 1.7 Leica a lot. And a lot of times I find myself taking a couple of steps back and wishing it was just a little bit wider. Yeah. And um, I, pretty much the only glass I travel with now is the Leica lenses from yeah. Lumix. So They're nice. Um, to have that Leica creaminess and that that look in yeah. a super wide, you know, 24 millimeter equivalent at f1.4. Nice. It's, I'm yeah. excited about it. Yep, yep. I, I was just playing with it, but then it got taken away from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have the same thing happen tomorrow. <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> So cool. Um, what do you got going on tonight? Anything good going on? I, I have a class in a few minutes, in about 45 minutes, on uh, traveling light. Cool. And um, not just switch to mirrorless, ditch your DSLRs, but but even some techniques for um, you know reducing the amount of gear that you carry. I see a lot of people around at the conference, and everybody's got like she's got a rolling camera bag. Yep. Well, here we are at a conference, and she's got a rolling camera bag. Yep. Uh, people with huge backpacks full of gear, and um, I want to talk a lot about what's in your bag and yeah. and do you really need 
five lenses with you, or do you need two that you shoot with the most? Yep. And um, some things about how to use, say, the uh, library filters in Lightroom to determine what lenses you actually do use. And it's a good um, idea. And maybe you can weed out that bag a little bit. And uh, like my buddy Rick Salmon was saying last night, he, when he's out shooting, he's got a camera over each shoulder with a wide angle zoom and a telephoto zoom and a little tripod. There you go. No bag, no, no nothing. When I switched over to Lumix, uh, I didn't do the library filter, but I just knew which lenses I used and which ones I didn't. So I was like, I'm getting a 24 to 70 because that's pretty much lives on my camera all the time. Right. And then my next thing's a 7200. So, and they're much smaller. These are tiny compared to, <laughs> both of these don't equal one of the other lenses. Sure. So. Absolutely. So, yeah, but yeah, you definitely want to minimize. You don't need 30 or 40 or 50 lenses, you sure. know? Because if you do look in Lightroom, you're like, I use two, maybe one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And it's a huge difference. You know, you'll see, okay, I made like, 20 images with this lens and you know 40 images and then like 6,000 images with it yeah. okay that's i'm definitely taking that lens. Lens. You know, and some of the amazing. focal ranges are so close like if you have 24 to 70 and 7200 and you're always at like 70. yeah <laughs> you know there you go so so cool well what else anything else you want to chat about or tell me about well i've got a um my colleague rick garrity and i are doing a our route 66 tour in um when is that october cool the second week in october so um, you can find out about that stuff on my website, awesome. uh, robnightphotography.com and uh, digitalphotoadventures.com. Cool. And you're firing the podcast up again, you said? I think so. I, I was just talking to Frederick Van Johnson last night. Uh, I took, I've took i been taking a, a break. I, I don't know, after a year, can you call it a break? Yeah. But um, from uh, your itinerary <laughs> travel <laughs> photography podcast. So we might um, uh, bring that back in some, some form or another. Maybe not exactly the same, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of itching to get back on the air with that too. So, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Look forward to it. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Thanks for uh, yeah. coming out and chatting with me and I'm, I'll see you out there shooting tonight. You bet. Thanks for having me.